millions, sadly, of refugees reaching the shores of Poland, Slovakia, Romania, and other places. Great gratitude to our friends in Lions Clubs International who are helping to support our Unify for Refugees effort. But instead of talking about it, let's listen and hear from someone who's lived the experience. Let me take this moment to introduce now, if I could, Gerald Mbali. Gerald uh, is now a Special Olympics advisor uh, and advocate for our Unified with Refugees program. And Gerald, um, you've, lived, uh, you've lived this much more than um, most of us can ever imagine. Uh, you are a refugee yourself from Cameroon. Um, you've come uh, to our movement as someone who found in our movement, uh, I think, I, I don't want to put words in your mouth, um, an alternative worldview, maybe uh, a way of seeing the world that was very different from the one you were fleeing and maybe even the one you'd arrived to. But let me just begin by welcoming you and just asking you, having been through so much, uh, what lessons, what experiences can you offer all of us who are watching and experiencing uh, either in real time or virtually so much pain that so many others are struggling with right now? Uh, thank you. Thank you very much, sir. And uh, it's an honor for me being here. And as you said it well, uh, I have had my own vision of the new world in which I'm living. Uh, at the moment in which I encountered the movement of Special Olympics. And uh, it's indeed true. And for those who don't know me, I am uh, yeah, I'm re I'm a refugee from Cameroon uh, who fled his native country to escape violence and conflict uh, in my region. Uh, conflict created by uh, a group of armed men commonly called Boko Haram by then. And uh, of course, yes, I was obliged to flee and uh, traveling through Sahara Desert uh, in one of the most dangerous conditions uh, ever known by the entire planet. Uh, traveling with one of the most dangerous group ever known. Uh, surviving uh, long hours and long nights on a dinghy in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea before being rescued by uh, uh, the, the, the Sicilian authority in, uh, in the south part of Italy and been settled into the north part of Italy uh, to look into my new life. So yes, uh, I mean, uh, by saying all this, you can imagine uh, a young African male into a country, I mean, totally new with new culture, new language, everything just new. Uh, you can imagine the amount of challenges that uh, 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 someone can, like me or like those fleeing from Ukraine in this particular moment can live is very, very, very uh, uh, traumatic. And uh, one of my greatest strength out of all this by then, I mean, uh, was the possibility of realizing that even in the darkest of time, uh, one's action can be transformative. I mean, positive actions are required to create opportunity for positive mental health. And uh, when I talk about actions, I talk about individual actions. I talk about actions that uh, no matter the size can still have something positive. I mean, small or big or a series of steps uh, that we, we, we take uh, may do something transformative. In my case, uh, it was uh, accepting uh, that I was struggling to adapt in a new community, in a new context. I was struggling to, 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 to learn the language to be useful to the community. And uh, my action by then was accepting and uh, taking a positive decision uh, 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 without even knowing that accepting an invitation from athletes of Special Olympics could open a whole new world and a world full of opportunities to me. So I, I may say uh, 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 it was also uh, the courage and the, the refusal of giving up and enduring the belief that uh, I could find something positive in human goodness that helped me to take uh, decisive steps to try again and again and again. And uh, so my message here is gonna be uh, uh, for my audience and for whoever is listening to me is uh, we should not be afraid to take actions 
And uh, as David, as uh, uh, Tim, Tim said it at the beginning, uh, an action can be as well uh, very meaningful. And I'm pretty sure that uh, 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 an action that is already taken, even from the Lions International, enabling us, uh, accompanying us to provide some support during this very uh, intense war, breaking down our, 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 our in the European path is, uh, is very important. So, so I mean, uh, uh, it's just to, 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 to be ready and to take action right now to acknowledge the fact that anything can bring something positive, I mean, for everyone. Um, Gerald, it's hard for any of us to imagine what you've just described, the transit out of your own country, across the desert, into the sea, to a new land, to a new language. Um, tell us about Unified with Refugees. How does that fit into your, it would seem like it's just something totally separate from your experience, but maybe it actually is part of your experience or has in some ways helped or supported you. Yes, 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 for sure. I mean, it's not separated. It's something, it's something that is part of my experience and something I'm living right now in the moment. So uh, in regards to this, I will first of all start by saying I really owe a lot to the athletes of Special Olympics because I remember back then in uh, my, when I was dying in my own desperation, when I was locked in my room in the refugee centers back there in Setimoto Rines, I remember uh, the, the, their hand of friendship and acceptance offering me and providing me with a lot of help in that final phase of my experience as a refugee. And they helped me to end that phase of my life in a very positive way. So uh, the Unified Refugee uh, Festival, uh, I would like to say uh, we, are, we are all uh, aware of the fact that the, the global community is confronting perhaps the largest humanitarian uh, crisis uh, of, 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 of this modern era. And uh, uh, in a place in the world where uh, we live with uh, armed conflict, I mean, with uh, political unrest, I mean, with uh, extreme poverty and climate change, uh, uh, here comes the fact that uh, uh, fortunately, our movement, Special Olympics, understand better how to deal with situation like this, understand how better how to take action in this moment, and perhaps have the best leaders, which are athletes with intellectual disabilities to take action in this type of moments. And uh, as part of the commitment of Special Olympics in supporting individuals with and without intellectual disability has developed, has developed this uh, global, I would call it global platform uh, called Unified Refugee, which is uh, giving the possibility to athletes with and without intellectual disability to, to I would say, to benefit the joy of sports and the power that lies on sports. And uh, it is bringing uh, a critical community-based inclusive programming to the population in need of empowerment and protection. And, uh, and this platform has, has a vision that really, really uh, matters for me. The fact that uh, it involves everyone, no matter, the capability, no matter their capabilities and their abilities. I mean, uh, it gives everyone equal possibility, equal chance, and, uh, and most important, it is a platform that sees athletes of Special Olympics extending their hand of friendship to another group of marginalized ones of our community. I mean, nothing better, can, nothing better like this could ever exist in this particular moment of this uh, 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 crisis over, over Ukraine. And uh, I'm very proud of uh, what uh, uh, Special Olympics uh, uh, Unified Refugee is doing right now. I mean, uh, this is a platform that uh, last year in Italy during the European Football Week organized the first ever tournament for the Afghanistan population during their well-known crisis and providing safe space for them to play, to feel home and to feel welcome in the countries in different cities of Italy. I mean, the platform is one of the platforms that celebrate together with refugees during the World, World, World Refugee Day. I mean, through our programs all over Africa, Europe, giving a safe space, empowering athletes and even families with individuals with, uh, 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 with intellectual disabilities. And um, uh, me being part of this movement right now, me being part of supporting the expansion of this movement, uh, also based on my story is thanks to the Adult Special Olympics, which fortunately helped me and gave me the possibility to regain my self-esteem in one of the most dangerous moments in my, in my growth. So uh, actually, uh, when I look at life 
when I look at my life right now and the full cycle of what's happening, I could never say, I, I, I don't have words to express my gratitude, but I mean, it is the transformation that uh, my past and Unifiable Refugee and also the athletes of Special Olympics have given me the opportunity to live. So we have program actives and probably actives in uh, 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 refugee settings uh, uh, in Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, Cyprus, Bosnia. We have them as well in Malta, Belgium, Netherlands, and we have also Thailand and many other countries which are ready to, uh, 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 to embark in the journey with us. And they are communicating their intention of implementing our refugee programming as part of their national Special, Special Olympics Games. So uh, this is one of the most proud things I could ever proud of being a member of, of this platform, of this movement like this. 